Hello chaps, Wolfcore here, and welcome back to Fallout 4 one quest at a time. So, uh, what are we going to be doing in today's episode? Well, let's just hop right into it by showing you guys what I have most recently been working on in Sanctuary. So, you're definitely familiar with the tree fort so far. But since then, I have gone ahead and lit up our workstation over here. It's looking uh, hella lit, if you ask me. Uh... <laughs> Anyways, um, so yeah, I lit that up. I came over to our little power generator and rad removal station and lit this up as well, as you can see. I also built us a new platform. And we had all of our power armor over there, but I wanted I wanted a place where I could really show off the collection, as I don't really plan on using it much, but I do want... I do kind of want it on display. That's really the main reason I like power armor, is just displaying it in town. So I went ahead and I built this platform over here. We've got a little ladder over here, in case the settlers are being attacked and they need to run up and use the power armor. And... We have these four extra suits just lining the edge. I'm sure we're going to find lots and lots more before this series ends. And my best power armor, which is currently the uh, Brotherhood of Seal... Brotherhood of Steel... Steel... The Brotherhood of Steel power armor over here. So I'll just uh, keep my best one over here. And my current understanding of the game is that there's one piece of power armor that really stands out above them all. And I think it's called like the X01 power armor set or something. So, I think we're going to go get that in the next episode, and uh, then we're going to see what we can do about leadlining that for venturing into the glowing sea. But for right now, this was mostly just a cosmetic thing that I wanted to show you guys. And uh, here, let me pull up the sanctuary stats. So you can see, we are still looking quite good. Our settlers are very happy, but we are almost out of room in sanctuary. I don't have much more that I, I'm actually going to be able to build. Which is unfortunate, but, eh, what can you do? What can you do? Not much, is the answer. Anywho. Anywho, so that's Sanctuary. I'm really happy with how it's all turned out. And there's still going to be a few more odds and ends that we're going to add before we're all done here. But, for today's quest, we are going to be finding Dr. Cabot's daughter, who has taken off with her new boyfriend, to our understanding. And to do that, we are going to be heading over to... Let's see. Looks like the center of the city. And uh, But before we hop into that, we got a level up. While well, I was crafting in town, popping us all the way up to level 30. And our build is getting pretty dang strong. So let's just see where we're going to put this point. And it seems to me this is the obvious choice right here. Rank 2 of Blitz. Blitz is absolutely critical for our build. So Vat's melee distance is increased even more. And the further the Blitz distance, the greater the damage. Hell yeah. Sign me up. Pew. Got it. Alright, so we did all of that. So why don't we head over to the Postal Square and see about finding Dr. Cabot's daughter. I'll see you guys there in a moment. Alrighty, chaps, we find ourselves in the heart of the city. And it is the middle of the day, and fantastic, we are surrounded by enemies. That's awesome. Oh, 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 I'll be right there, buddy. I'll be right there, Captain Kirk. Ah. Hey, don't you fucking attack my dog, you assholes. Oh, oh, that, that bat's range. Oh, that bat's range. It's so good. It's so good. Ugh. Ow! Crit! Yeah! Dang, a corporal. He is strong. You just kick Captain Kirk? Fuck you! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh. Stab! Stab! Hey, who are you shooting at? I'm coming for you, bitch! Yeah! Stab! 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 Oh god, Dr. Sherman. It's happening again. I've lost count of how many times I've blacked out. I'm woken up with this cursed knife in my hand. Oh. The Pikmin's Gallery curse. It's real! 
So, uh, yeah, I'm insane. If you guys haven't figured that out yet. Definitely insane. Alright, so where are we? What are we doing? We're heading this way. Seems to be northwest. I kind of wish it wasn't the middle of the day, but what can you do? Hmm. Yup. Pretty close. Ooh. Oh. Somebody got a problem? Yeah, you do. Fuck you. Weirdo. Ow! Really wish it was nighttime. Here we go. Crit. That got some work done. Crit. Yeah. Ow. Oh my. Oh. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, it needs to be nighttime. All right. We're back up. Um, let's try and do this a little bit more stealthy this time. Here we go. No. Okay, so we want to do three there. Three there. Stop. There we go. And the rest there. Yeah! Oh, much cleaner. Much cleaner. Yeah, come on, come on. Oh, did that get all three? Sick! Not even sure how that happened, but hey, I'm not complaining. Not complaining. Hello, Mr. Brahmin. You can live today. Actually, uh, I kind of want the meat to cook. Oh, you're kind of cute, though, in a sad, disturbing way. Okay, you can live. Hmm. Hmm. Alright, let's try a different approach this time, because those super mutants are hitting hard. Oop, there they are. There they are. Okay, not surprising that I can't get them from here. <gasps> Great. Oh my gosh, you're so tanky. Okay, okay, good start. Good start. I'm gonna quick save, because these fuckers hit hard. <laughs> Careful, boy. Shotgun! Here we go. Let's take out that arm. Grit. Yeah, buddy. That's effective. Alright. Alright, let's shred this last one. Shred them to little pieces. Oop, maybe not. Maybe pew pew's the way to go here. That had to hurt. Yeah. Yeah, buddy. Come on. How are you even hitting me, bro? How are you even hitting me? Marksman's boosted laser rifle. Hmm. It's actually got some nice mods on it. Might as well take it. Alrighty. Where is that fool? You leave Captain Kirk alone! Leave him alone! There you are. Much better. Much better when we take our time. Ooh, death claw meat. Don't mind if I do. Don't mind if I do. I'm gonna scout that out. Stop. Stop running away. Help. Come on. What, do I have to go on top of the building to scout it out? Fine. Fine. I will. I will go on top of the building. If you're going to be that way about it. 
kind of cool. Really love the way this game really feels like a big city. Love it. Okay, we're still going up. This is okay. This is actually getting really cool. So, a uh, question for you: If you're watching, uh, what kind of uh, environment do you live in? Do you live in a big city, or have you ever? Because I, I am so curious about what that's got to be like. For years now, I've wanted to uh, live in a big city, just to know. Who the fuck is shooting me? Are you above me? That's quite frustrating. <coughs> Stab it! Jeez. Maybe... What happens? Okay, what happens if I hit this button? Oh! Okay, okay bye! Oh, there you are, you little bitch. About to get pew pewed. Good hit. Damn it. Need more stability. Oh, yeah, he's going down. He's going down. Oh, oh what the fuck killed me? All right, we're back up again. Shit. Here we go. All right, hopefully you can disarm him. We got it. Got the disarm. Yeah, go down, big boy. <laughs> and some idiot savant XP. Fine, by me. All right. Um, I don't see any point to going up that building again, so let's keep moving on towards our quest objective. Let's just have these super mutants go fuck themselves. That sounds like a good plan. Is there a door on this thing? Gosh darn it. Well, props to you for actually building an effective wall, but that's annoying. Right, maybe let's just run this way? Maybe? Hmm. Oh, oh, hello. Hello, little mole rats. Poke. 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 Ha-ha! Ha-ha! Oh, brood are you? Ha-ha! <laughs> there we go. Just use that to reduce incoming damage. Yeah! And more rat meat. Excellent. Right. So if we go over here and just keep hugging the left, in theory we'll come up on that building. Let's take a nap, get our health back. Perfect. There's, there's gotta be some way in, right? Maybe maybe if I take this bridge I can hop over that wall or something? Maybe. Oh demon monkey! No! Bad monkey. Ooh. Just some weak raiders. Take that XP. Peekaboo! Peekaboo! Hey, good throw. <laughs> One shot, two kills. Oh, that feels good. Love this build. Love this build, chaps. Okay, that's the wall we need to get over, so this was not the thing to do. If we keep heading this direction, I'm sure we can figure it out. Okay, looks like super mutants ahead. No idea if they respond, because we have been here before. Looks like they do! Nice! Go to sleep. Go to sleep. 
Just let me pass by. Is that good neighbor? Oh, that is good neighbor. Oh shit, were we just supposed to go to good neighbor this whole- Oh fuck, I'm stupid. That's right, now I remember the guy telling me I had to go to good neighbor. Ah. <laughs> well, here we are. See you guys on the inside. Alright, good to see you, good neighbor. Whoever this brotherhood is deal is. These guys had some good legendaries, right? I've got a weapon here for every situation. Hunting, protection, cold-blooded murder, hot-blooded murder. <laughs> I I've like got you. a few minutes to browse. Murder and mayhem at a discount. Yay, my favorite. Right, so, I remember you having some legendaries last time we talked. What do you have? You have the party starter. Damn. Damn, that's expensive. 12000 I think I'll be okay without that for right now. So, we're heading in here. In case hey, you're wondering, the Diamond City radio signal comes in loud and clear here in Good Neighbor. And that Travis, man, he got good. You're welcome. That was straight up all me. Hello. Well, aren't you dapper? Hancock says newcomers are welcome in the third rail. Go on in. Great, thank you. Thank you. All right, that's stealing. That's just fine by me. It means I don't have to bother to loot. Hmm. Why? Hello. Another one of you mercs looking for McCready? He's in the back room. Um. What? Okay. Guess we're gonna talk to McCready at some point. Hi, Magnolia. Mm. Nice dress. Boy, we got beer. You ain't buying. Cool vault suit, huh? Can't say I'm Something back here. Find you in a dump like this, McCready. I was wondering how long it would take your bloodhounds to track me down, Winlock. It's been almost three months. Don't tell me you're getting rusty. Should we take this outside? It ain't like that. I'm just here to deliver a message. In case you forgot, I left the gunners for good. Yeah, I heard. But you're still taking jobs in the Commonwealth. That isn't going to work for us. I don't take orders from you. Not anymore. So why don't you take your girlfriend and walk out of here while you still can? What? <laughs> tell me we don't have to listen to this shit. Listen up, McCready. The only reason we haven't filled your body full of bullets is that we don't want a war with good neighbor. See, we respect other people's boundaries. We know how to play the game. It's something you never learned. Glad to Look at Captain Kirk. You. He's so cute. You can He's such a, a good boy. All you want. But if we hear you're still operating inside gunner territory, all bets are off. You got that? You finished? Yeah. We're finished. Come on, Bards. Look, pal. If you're preaching about the Atom or looking for a friend, you've got the wrong guy. If you need a higher gun, then maybe we can talk. Uh, not particularly. Um, maybe. Why don't you tell me who those guys were first? A couple of morons looking to climb the ladder of success by stepping on everyone else on the way up. Shouldn't be surprised, though. That's how it goes when you run with the gunners. Hmm, interesting. Uh, gunners. Never heard of the gunners. Who are they? One of the biggest gangs in the Commonwealth. Got a rep for being crazy. You know, so tightly wound, you think they were a cult or something? Stuck with them for a while because the money was good, but I never fit in. That's why I made a clean break and started flying solo. Now what about you? How do I know I won't end up with a bullet in my back? Um... Are you always this suspicious? Hey, you approached me. And frankly, I'm taking a huge risk being out here in the Commonwealth in the first place. So I'm not about to leave anything to chance. Which brings me back to my original question. Can I trust you? I mean, I, I I don't know, maybe. Hold on. What kind of risk are you talking about? I already told you way too much. <laughs> I'm going to keep my big mouth shut. Look, I'm tired of playing 20 questions. So I'll cut you a deal right now. Okay. 250 caps. Up front. And there's no room for bargaining. What do you say? For what? I, I don't even know you, bro. What am I paying you for? Um. Alright, well, just for the sake of... 
progression, yes. You got a deal. Now you're speaking my language. All right, boss. You got yourself an extra gun. Lead on. Damn it, no. Urgh, I don't want to get rid of Captain Kirk. God damn it. Who the... Uh, why? Why? What does that have to do with anything? I'm here to find that girl. What the hell? Uh, uh, now I have to go back to Sanctuary to get... Captain Kirk, dog don't me. go. Don't go, boy. Come on, boy. It's time to go. No, I want you to come with me. Okay, are you staying with me now? Far cry from working with the gunners. All right. That's behind me. All right. So where's this freaking girl? Need a place to stay? Try Hotel Rexford. Yes. What? You need something to take the edge off? Fred Allen. Excuse me, Miss. Hmm? Well, what's the matter, handsome? Don't tell me you didn't like the song. No, I quite enjoyed it actually. I love the song. It was perfect. Oh well, thank you. A girl tries her best. <laughs> now there's something special about you, isn't there? Don't tell me. Let me guess. Ah, it's your hands. They move even when you aren't thinking, right? Quick on the draw. <laughs> <laughs> so what brings a man like you to my part of town? I'm looking for a girl. Uh, that's not an option, so the music? I came here for the music. <laughs> Flatterer. I think you and I are going to get along. So it's my turn to answer questions, right? What can I do for you? Ooh. I was wondering if we could get to know each other better. Oh, really? Go on. <laughs> um, tell me about the girl that I'm looking for. Do you know Imogene Cabot? Imogene? Sure. I know her. I haven't seen her in a while, though. Were you a friend of hers? Sort of. She's missing, and her family's worried about her. Well, I'm glad somebody's looking out for her. She seems like a body that could use looking after. If you say so. Do you know where she's gone? There was this preacher fellow who used to come in here all the time. One of the slick ones. Always going on about remaking your life and so on. Most of the customers wouldn't give him the time of day, but Imogene... She latched on to him for some reason. I don't suppose it hurt that he was easy on the eyes. Mmm, intense. Some women find that irresistible. Pam! Would you come over here a minute? Hmm, interesting. Well? Is there a problem, Miss Magnolia? No, this fine gentleman here was just looking for Imogene. Do you happen to know where that preacher fella came from? Hmm. Brother Thomas. Yes, that's right. The one Imogene was always hanging on. Had to throw him out. Wouldn't stop bothering customers with that salvation racket. <laughs> going on and on about joining him at the back bay. Then he'd shove those stupid flyers in your face. Here, I kept one of them. Just in case he didn't pay his bar tab. Perfect. Well, thanks, honey. You were a big help. Anything for you, miss. I hope Imogene's all right. I didn't much like the idea of her going off with that preacher fellow. Thank you very much, Magnolia. Maybe I'll uh, come back. We can uh, go catch a movie or something. All right. All right, all right. All right, so let's see where we're off to next. Are we still looking a good neighbor? No. So we're going over to... Find Imogene Cabot. By the river. Okay. Back in the city. Well, this is where we uh, fought that big ass swan thing. So, what else do we have around here? Why is it always daytime? Hmm. Sneaky, sneaky. Hey, yo. Nice. Oh, what's that? Amphitheater? Oh, this area. I've seen this before. I can't smell I good. You decide to change a life today. 
You should talk to Brother Thomas about how to join our movement. You're well, smiling too big. It freaks me out. We're always glad to see a new face around here. Oh, yeah? Hmm. Captain Kirk, what'd you find? What'd you find, boy? What'd you, you find? Learn about <gasps> our movement? <gasps> oh, is your face stuck in that shirt, you silly boy? You silly boy. Oh, look how happy he is. Look how happy he is. Oh. Hello, Mava. Hey there. So Welcome what's going on, dude? Brother here. Thomas? We're always glad to see a new face around here. Tell me something. You ever feel like this whole world is broken? Do you ever wonder why things can't be the way they were in the good old days? Yes. I don't have time for this. You should make time for something this important, neighbor. Something that could change your life. And maybe the whole commonwealth. We call ourselves the Pillars of the Community. We're a pretty new movement, so you may not have heard of us. But we're growing fast all across the Commonwealth, and you can be part of this exciting future. Step right this way, and I'll be happy to tell you all about our movement and how you can be a part of it. Uh, honestly, I'm okay. I don't want whatever you're selling. I'm not selling anything, neighbor. I'm giving away the secrets of long life, happiness, and prosperity. Giving them away. What do you say? Ready to take that first step into a new life? No. Not a chance. Well, I'm sorry to hear that. I really can't take no for an answer, though. <laughs> Once you find out all the benefits of being one of the pillars, I think you'll see where I'm coming from. Okay, buddy. Hey, tell me about Don't the girl. Be shy. Just follow I me. You decide to become one of the pillars of the community. Are you taking me? Hmm. I don't like this. I don't feel at ease around these people. This don't is sketchy. Work. I don't bite. I don't trust you. Try anything funny, I'm gonna fucking shoot you with my shotgun. I'm always excited to welcome a new member into our fold. Alrighty. I hope you're as excited as I am. This is one of my favorite parts of the job. Getting to welcome new members into our movement. The first step is simple. You have to learn to give up your attachment to material possessions um. in order to gain the ability to have true wealth, health, and happiness. What Just part of no did you not understand, bro? You own, and I'll initiate you as a first level pillar of the community. Uh, no. You must think I'm an idiot. Well, you came in here, didn't you? Now, you've got two choices. Give me everything you've got, or <laughs> we take it anyway. I knew I couldn't fucking trust you. I'm walking out of here. Your choice what you want to do about it. Ah, you're not worth the trouble. <laughs> yeah, <Plenty laughs> good call, buddy. Get out of here before I change my mind. Tell me where the girl is, I'm asshole. I'm looking for Imogene Cabot. Not that it's any of your business, but she's not seeing anybody until she cools off. Oh, I don't like this guy. I'm perfectly going to happy see to her kill him at this point. One way or another. Your choice. You picked the wrong guy to mess with, pal. <laughs> don't you hit Captain Kirk! <laughs> I'm getting the itch. I'm getting the itch. Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah! Stab! Stab! Yeah! Not much of a pillar now, are you? Ha ha! Ha ha! Grenade! Get back, Captain Kirk! Yeah! Yeah! Ha <laughs> ha! Stab! 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 Hey, you! Stab! 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 <laughs> oh, that was sick. <laughs> oh, that was sick. All right. All right, so, uh, we wiped out the local religion. But, you know, I, I don't feel like that was really my fault. They kind of threatened me. So, yeah, I don't feel too bad about that. About to die, buddy. Ha <laughs> ha! Ha ha! Yeah! Stab!
stab, stab. Whew. Whew. Oh. Oh, jeez. All right, where am I? What's going on? Can I rest here? Yeah. Oh, no. Okay. Fuck it. Fuck it. I didn't want to rest anyways. Didn't even want to. Oh, does this go somewhere? Looks like it. All right, so what do we have in here? Um, into the amphitheater we go. Oh, thought that was going to be an instance. Hey! Hey, what's up? Don't tell me. Jack sent you. Yep. That's right. I'm here to rescue you. What makes you think I need to be rescued? Uh, I don't know. They seem like douchebags to me. You're Jack's sister? I was expecting someone a bit younger. You really know how to flatter a lady, don't you? <laughs> Just to be clear, I'm Jack's younger sister, the baby of the family. Once I get home and get some of Jack's serum, I'll be back to my usual stunning self. Oh, that's really interesting. Jack has a serum that reverses aging? It's more like it halts aging. I started taking it when I was 32, so normally that's what I look like. You'll see Whoa. once I get my treatment. I was well known as one of the bells of Boston society, back when there was any. Whoa. Actually, there's only one vial of the serum left. Raiders got the rest. I'd better get home before Mother convinces Jack that she needs all of it. That he could still be such a mama's boy at his age is ridiculous. <laughs> I'm so disappointed in Thomas. He seemed so interesting at first. But after we came here, he turned out to be just another brute. He actually thought it could force me to join his absurd cult. <laughs> All right, well, he's dead Your now. Your boyfriend's dead. Let's go. Thomas? He wasn't my boyfriend. We had some fun together, that's all. Besides, he shouldn't have locked me in here. Oh, I'm not going with you. You can tell Mother I'll be along home before too long. I just need a drink first. Just gonna, just gonna stand in the corner? You're quite the ninja, aren't you? Alright, so I guess now we just gotta tell him that she's standing in the corner. You know, I'm just gonna, yeah, I'm just gonna lock that door for you. What'd you find, boy? What'd you find? What is it? What is it, boy? Oh. Huh. Oh, that's... Oh, look at all these glasses. Mini nuke? Yeah, please. Oh, look at all this stuff. Down. I'll take it all. Why not? Yeah, Loot City! Anything else back here? Some Salisbury steaks. Not sure why I'm even bothering to take this stuff, but whatever. Alright, so uh, I guess we sorted that out as well as it's going to get. So why don't we head back to the Abbott house. And then, where is it? It's getting so overlapped here, it's hard to even see. Eh? Oh, there it is. Alright, back to the Cabot house. See you chaps there. Here we are, chaps. We are back at the Cabot house. Let's see what they have to say about the news. Hey. Edward, switch to single sideband modulating. Can you hear me? Not now. Oh Edward, my God, it's switch over to the Hartley modulator. Do you copy? Ching now. How's this? Oh, <laughs> that's done it. Edward, what's going on there? We're under attack. They're inside the building. Oh, shit. Inside? Can you keep them out of the basement? I'm trying, Jack. I I've never seen raiders this. Oh, crap. For God's sake, Sammy. The doorway, right there. Sorry. Things are a little busy around here right now. Uh-oh. Listen, if they're inside the building, 
You have to go to the office and shut down the elevator. You can't risk them getting to Lorenzo. Got it. Who's office, Lorenzo? Elevator. You better round up whoever you can and get them. Hello? Oh shit. Edward? Come in. Edward! Ah. There's no signal at all. I've lost him. What's happening, Jack? If these people are inside Parsons, if they free him... Don't worry, I'll handle it. I always knew it would end this way. I never should have allowed you to lock up Lorenzo in that place. That isn't helping, Mother. And as I recall, using the serum was your idea, not mine. So what are you going to do? I said I'll handle it. I'm thinking. Oh. <laughs> what do you want? What's going on? That was Edward. He's at Parsons, the old asylum. They're under attack by raiders. It's strange. The guards have held off raiders before without any trouble. I don't know what's gone wrong this time. They want something bad. Probably the same raiders that stole the serum. Hmm. Could be. If some of them had used the undiluted serum, it could explain their unusual success against Edward's men. Tell me more about this serum. Oh, and uh, we finally completed the quest what for the exactly day. What does this serum do? I suppose it's time you knew. The main benefit of the serum is to aging. Nice. My family and I are all over 400 years old. But it also confers other side effects, especially in the undiluted form that the raiders stole. It increases strength and resistance to all kinds of physical damage. So at least some of these raiders may be much more dangerous than the ones you're used to dealing with. Really? I think it's time you told me what's really going on at Parsons. You're right. It's past time you knew. Jack, are you sure it's wise telling him all this? My father, Lorenzo Cabot, is confined in Parsons. He became dangerously unstable after handling an artifact he found on an archaeological dig in Arabia. He gained various seemingly paranormal powers, as well as becoming increasingly irrational and violent. In the end, I had no choice but to confine him, for his own safety, as well as ours. In the course of my attempts to cure him, I discovered that the artifact had introduced anomalies into his blood. So the source of his insanity is also the basis of the treatments that have prolonged all our lives. The irony isn't lost on me, but if he were to escape from Parsons, I would lose my father forever. I will not allow that to happen. Not to mention that the artifact has made him paranoid, homicidally violent, and endowed with extraordinary abilities. Interesting. We should hurry. You better get to Parsons right away, then. Exactly right. Hold on. Weren't you off looking for Imogene? Did you find her? Yeah, dude. I've been trying to tell you for days. Yes, I found her. She's fine. Oh, good. At least there's one small comfort on this terrible day. You'll be wanting to be paid, of course. Edward usually handles these things. Caps is what you use for currency, isn't that right? Here, I hope that's the right amount. Before we go, I Not need bad. you to understand something. When we get to Parsons, you need to do exactly what I tell you. Nothing more, nothing less. Is that clear? Yeah, you seem like a smart guy. I'll trust your uh, your orders. Got it. Good. Make sure you have whatever you'll need for a serious battle. I'll wait for you outside. Jack, be careful. And well, try not to hurt him. I love well, that escalated quickly. As as you do. But you know but as well I as think... I do that if he gets free, there will only be one option. Don't Bro, shut up. That, please. I'll do my best, mother. And if Imogene finally comes home, for God's sake, don't let her leave again until I get back. Now I really do have to go. Okay, then go. I don't need anything right Jeez. now, thank you. Yeah, I'm, I'm not trying... I'm trying to do my outro, lady. Shut it. <laughs> Anyways, uh, that's where we're going to call it for today, guys. I want to thank you all so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's episode, hit that like button for me. If you'd just like to leave a comment, it does help the channel grow. Any old comment will do. Or you can subscribe for more of my content. But either way, I will see you guys next time with more Fallout 4.